but to help the farm. Then there is some good news because it is turning a little bit more unsettled as we move over the next four or five days. For the moment, we have this area of high pressure and this weather front right in the middle of it, which has caused us a few headaches, forecasting the amount of cloud that's been floating around. But it starts to get squeezed out of the way as we get attacked from two directions, two areas of low pressure. One trying to get in across the North Sea, and this one trying to get in off the Atlantic. And it's the Atlantic low pressure that's going to win out as we move through the weekend and move into the early part of next week, as it develops and moves right across us as we move through Monday and into Tuesday. Now, for the moment, we have that troublesome cloud. It's caused us a few headaches trying to forecast the amount of sunshine that we've seen today at Wimbledon. The sun is out at the moment in places, but that cloud floating around still with us, I think, for much of the day, and also across a large part of northern England and up across parts of Scotland. So that's our forecast. I think for the sunshine, Northern Ireland, parts of Wales and the West Country seeing the best of the sunshine and probably the best of the temperatures as well, up at 22, even 23 degrees. Now, the Wimbledon Championships could see a dry day for the rest of today, but Thursday I think there's a risk of showers developing and temperatures down to around 17 degrees as well. What we have is the weather front drifting down from the north and it will become a little bit more active as we move into tomorrow, generating showers not just for the southeast of England, through the Midlands and up across parts of Wales as well. Overnight temperatures, 12 or 13 in the west, cooler across northern England, 9 in Scotland, 7 or 8 degrees. And then through Thursday, we are going to see that band of cloud very slow moving across a large part of the central areas of England, Wales, up into northern Ireland. Either side of that, a little bit of brightness, a little bit of sunshine at times as well. For the cricket at Lords, the test match, it looks like there will be some showers around through Thursday, and we could still see showers as we move into Friday and Saturday as well. Saturday's forecast across Scotland brings a band of cloud and rain slowly down from the north. There's that reluctant band of clouds still with us, rather cloudy conditions with the odd spot of rain coming and going as well, and slightly cooler air drifting down from the north following that weather front. As we move into Saturday, I think some sunshine coming up in the north of England, perhaps into southern parts of Scotland, but rather cloudy conditions further south for Northern Ireland, parts of Wales and the West Country. And it's later through Saturday and into Sunday we see another weather front moving back in from the southwest. It'll bring quite a lot of low cloud and mistiness around It'll also bring a few showers and possibly the threat of the odd thunderstorm as well. Into Europe, a quick look into Europe, as you can see, this is the place to see the sunshine. Much of Spain, Portugal through the Mediterranean, fine and dry, with little changing over the next couple of days. That's all from me. Have a good afternoon.